Hello everyone and welcome to this month's Cubit Network's Nonprofit Spotlight. Today I'm very honored to be here with Don Michaels, who's the Executive Director of Habitat for Humanity of Northwest Indiana. And we are here in, in lovely Gary, Indiana on a bright, sunny uh, spring day. Yes, right? thank goodness. Yes, it makes you feel a little alive. So, so Don, we were talking outside just a little bit, but, but would you tell uh, folks a little bit about Habitat for Humanity of Northwest Indiana? Sure. So Habitat for Humanity of Northwest Indiana started in 1986, and we have served over 140 uh, families in, um, in that time frame. Uh, Habitat builds and sells homes at a zero interest mortgage. So um, we build the home and then we sell it, and it's normally a 25 or 30 year mortgage. And uh, we normally remove people from a high rent situation and get them into an affordable, energy efficient home. Yeah, we were talking, and I, I, I guess I didn't know that. I always thought that, that the homes were given to the people, but, uh, but as you were explaining to me, there's, a, there's quite a bit of sweat equity, right, that the that the people have to put into the home as well, right? Can you tell me a little yeah, bit about that? Yes, yeah, sure. So every every homeowner has to qualify. So they have to uh, fall between 30 and 80 percent of the AMI, which is the uh, mo monthly income, 30 to 80 percent of Lake County's AMI. Um, they have to put in 300 sweat equity hours into their house or somebody else's Habitat house, or they can uh, work at one of our restores. Uh, they have to take a 10-week uh, uh, financial university class, which is the Dave Ramsey. We use the yeah. Dave Ramsey Financial uh, Peace University. Um, and then they also have to uh, put down about $2,500 to start their escrow account. That's great. And so, so then... There also has to be a need. Sorry, that's one sure. of the most important things, though, Ryan, is there has to be a need. They can't, um, you know, they can't own a mortgage. They can't own a house, a house right now, excuse me. Um, they have to have a need. So maybe they are rent, uh, renting and their rent is really high. Right. Or they are uh, in a uh, situation where it's overcrowding. Right. That there might be, you know, we have a, a situation right now where there's six people living in a two bedroom house. Right. Well, that's a lot of people using one bathroom and, and three people yep. to a bedroom. Yeah. Which is, you know, difficult. There also, we've also had uh, habitat partner families that had issues with their rentals. So there was mold, um, there was flooding, the windows weren't energy efficient. So their NIPSCO bills were $400 a month. Right. Well, who can afford that? Yeah, exactly. And then you were saying that in a lot of the situations, um, the, the people end up becoming a homeowner. Yes. Right? And between their their 0% mortgage and their utilities in an energy efficient home, their monthly cost goes down compared to what they may have been renting before. So they not only get a, a you know more money freed up every month to spend on normal life, but they also build equity toward the house and something that they could potentially pass over to uh, the next generation. Um, so that's just a, a kind of a win 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 all the way across the board. Right. The way I the way I like to explain it is you know you take somebody out of a high rental situation, let's for example they they're paying a thousand dollars and we sell them a home, so they're paying their mortgage, their insurance, and their taxes for right around five or six hundred dollars a month. Well, going from a thousand dollars a month down to even six hundred a month, right. they all of a sudden have disposable, four hundred dollars of disposable income that month and every month moving forward for that rest of their working life. Yeah. They didn't get a raise at work, right. but we found disposable income now that they can reinvest in their community. That's so great. And that's how it happens. Well, I know even like, you know, this is many moons ago, but you know, I remember just the first night I spent in the house that I own, right? There's a certain satisfaction and, and you know, I, I, don't, I don't know how to say swagger, but you just feel like this is my place, you know? And there's something to that about uh, confidence too. So I'm sure you see a little bit of that. Um, people just feel like, hey, this is my place now. Yes, so if you drive around and you, you see Habitat homes, they are normally some of the most well-kept properties yeah. because they are so proud. Yeah, that's and great. It's so, it's very that cool. very yeah. cool. So if people wanted to learn more about Habitat for Humanity in Northwest Indiana, how, how would they do that? So they could call us. Um, the number is 
six five. Okay. And they could uh, reach out to Family Services, and you know Penny can help them with the application process. Um, they can also go to our website, you know, okay. nwihabitat.org. Okay. okay, and we'll put those in our. I call it the show notes, but usually we launch this on YouTube, so we'll put it in the description there, so people will see that as well. Sure. Okay, that's great. And if people wanted to help your cause, like what, uh, how would they go about doing that? Like what, what, what do you need um, the most? Uh, what we need the most um, is we need involvement, right? Perfect. So, um, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you want to get involved if you want to volunteer. We need core volunteers, somebody to come out, you know, maybe once a month and you want to do something like that. We need donors, we need uh, properties to continue to build. Right. We don't, if, you know, we donate, we, excuse me, we build on donated lots. Gotcha. So we're always looking for, you know, a house to renovate or a lot to build on. Okay. Um, we also need funding. We need, uh, you know, it costs $140,000 to build yeah. a house. Yeah. Well, we're building seven homes. Wow. In one year. That's awesome though. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a lot of money. Sure. You know, we're looking at over a million dollars to build seven or eight houses because we always start one um, moving forward sure. to, you know, to continue the cycle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sure that's all laid out on your website or your, uh, where people could um, call you and talk to you about that. Yeah. So. The other unique thing is, you know, leaving a legacy. There are some, you know, some people who uh, have put us in their wills, and this is a wonderful way sure. to continue to leave a legacy. Sure, absolutely. Or, you know, um, and you know, it can be, you know, we can have the home dedication in that person, you know, to honor sure. that person, yeah. everything else. But that's another way that people can also get involved okay. too. So, um, you know, a lot of the people that will watch this, you know, I always kind of joke, I live with my mom, right? Um, our companies, right? So, sure. are, are there opportunities for like you know companies to come out and spend a day working uh, on a job site? Um, are, are those available? Of course, okay. absolutely, yes. So, uh, we have lots of uh, business sponsors. Okay. And so we have a women build starting. Oh wow! Cool. And yeah, so we have a lot of uh, companies that come out and sponsor the um, the team to come out and build. Okay. Um, so they can you know they can sponsor the day. They can sponsor uh, an entire, you know, foundation gotcha. for twenty-five thousand dollars. They can sponsor a house. We have had uh, companies that have sponsored the entire house wow. for one hundred and forty thousand okay. dollars, which is Perhaps. fantastic. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, uh, thank you, Ryan. I really enjoyed talking to you before this, and, and uh, um, I appreciate everybody watching. Thank, thank you. you.